having oil as it comes out the shower so I do this and I massage it into the whole of his body and you know what I've been doing this for a couple of years on and off I just want to give little tips that it doesn't matter if it's body oil or any oil essential oil make your own up I make some up with lavender blah 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 I'm still masked up sorry about this um you know I've been I've had a real Cough, bad cough, um, but I had a really bad cough. Anyway, um, I just want to show you um, a couple of tips I've been doing with Ben. Let's cover that up a little bit. This is Ben, obviously, he's lace. So I've got all my stuff here to show you quickly because my phone's going to go and drop it. Um, a quick way to keep it the toes. So this is what I've been doing with the legs, remember? Um, so I've been getting bad and stretches up, down, side, across, and just stretches his legs like you will. And both of them are like that, so it makes it easier for me to bend to sleep. Um, he's asked me to sort of put this out if I can. Um, I'm not saying that going to be everyone's cup of tea, playing with tea, but they've got to be done. Um, so we do have nail files and stuff like that. Um, I'm just going to give them a quick nip with these here, just because again, um, you can see on the, on the bottom of the foot that I've been treating that. Um, I have been treating that um, with blue antibiotic cream. So what I'll do, reuse my little bits here that I'll, I use every day for different things. Uh, I'll just mask my mask up a bit more. Just going to close it. So I'll give a quick. That's still soft, so it's great. Because he's not long been in the shower and it's hard. So what I suggest is you've got to cut the feet straight across. Um, it holds the feet out. Obviously our toe, people's toes, spinal injuries and other people like Ben um, do have kind of issues. However, it is the easiest way um, to get them quickly cut, especially when he's asleep. So this infected toe, look, with an infected toe and the toenail has got better through the antibiotic cream I've been using which is like just the cheap honey really to be fair um, that is beautiful and and beautiful beautiful toes so that, that one could go flopping over there this one however I will have to use something else because I don't want to cross infect so I've got a little pair of scissors as well um, if I can get them open. And then what I'll do is, I'll leave it all that if it's all on the floor, I can't do nothing about that. I've just stabbed them with the scissors. <laughs> anyway, I just get, they are sharp, these, so I have to be really, really careful. And what I've got to do afterwards is, I'll just take my gloves off to get in. Well, he'll go sleep for a bit while, for a while. Just remember to cut straight across. If you're having issues, uh, like I am right now, because I can't twist his feet. Um, that one's got to come off. So be really, really careful, by the way. Especially if, you, if you've got real bad, bad spasms. I don't, you know, I, I do them always after, after a shower, um, rather than um any other time because that's when the nails is that's when the nail beds are softer um so what i will do with those there is because this is like it's got a bit of toenail in there um all i'll do with them is put up water in them 
um, and we reuse those um, like we're reusing a lot of other stuff to clean inside the nails use the good old what they call it the cotton bud and what you'll do is just go in into the nail bed there and give it a good clean even though we use toenail um, brushes um, and we brush the toenail brushes with bacteria spray so we're not cross infecting because obviously this has got infection and this foot's infected um, and we're just dealing with whatever we can whatever comes our way but like I said give it a, this one here I've got to actually I've got to file it I have got some throwaway files but um, I can't find anything right now because I've moved into those house so I'm not I can't I don't go home I live here 24 7 I do have key workers so it's just if you can see me I'm not doing it quick because I don't want to hurt anyone's feet. I'm trying to do it as slowly as possible. So his feet, I've got his toes lovely and supple. Everything's lovely. So all I do is hold the feet like this. So you're not going to break any bones. You're not going to do nothing. You're not going to do no harm. Don't be scared. Um, that's it, a quickie. That's perfect. I can't show you. I can't show you it, but... His toe might bend a little bit, but that's perfect. If you can, if you, if you can zoom in, it's kind of perfect. So that too, we'll go into uh, cleaning. And that's a quick video I'll give you today. Another little tip is PP up, especially if you've had a chest infection like myself or uh, a cough, which I have. Um, and it's healthy. I'm reusing packs like this, and I use those for other things because just brilliant and these um, I'm using for all different sterilization tips uh, so one for instance scissors that uh, and your nail clippers just put them in hot water and you'll be able to use those for god knows how long and if you want if you're a bit paranoid not like I am um sorry I've just cross infected and I'm not no, I, haven't, I haven't sneezed or anything. Um, anyway, they go in hot water. A uh, bit of Milton, if you want them in Milton. We don't do that because there's no point. Um, we're dealing with the feet as it is. So, yeah, we're re reusing stock as much as possible. Um, and I hope this little video helps. So, we just pop them to the side and I'll just wheel myself off there. Whoops, no, I won't. I'll wheel myself here in a minute. Um... Move that, move that. I thought it was going to get up, but obviously I put them to sleep. Um, we don't shower every day, by the way, because we, we, I can't do it. Um, I haven't got anyone to help me like to know all the stuff. However, Ben is very, very particular with his showers. And um, so we have a right routine going on. It's banging. Um, and every two days, like I said, let me go this. He, um, he actually has this. And uh, he loves it, so happy Saturday. And I hope you stay in, all of you, because it's going to be warm and there's other places to go. Uh, if you've got a window, go and look out the window and breathe some bit of fresh air in. Don't go out. Nurses and doctors are absolutely dying out there. So, you know, we just want to put some positivity to all of you. Absolutely everybody, right? Uh, you know, I and my family love each and every one of you and we do have a few supplies to give up. And I do have what I've got on my head here. Um, I don't, hang on. I'll carry hand gel around, so I'll show you. Well, hand gel, only a bit, not much. So I'll go through, when I hand gel, I make sure these gloves stay on me for a couple of hours. And I put cream in my hands about five, ten minutes before I'm going to put a pair of gloves on. I am allergic to, um, oh, what are they? Flipping latex gloves. So, anyway, um, what I'll do is I can put the other gloves over the top of it. So, uh, I'm just going to get on with my job because I've got, I've got loads to do today. We do have some masks. 
I have, I've ordered some more. Um, they're from Japan, actually. Um, and hopefully they'll come within a week or two, if not less. Um, I've put a quick order in so I could give out. I think I could have possibly, my order's gone through, so 40. So I could possibly have 40, 40 of these visors to give out to doc nurses, doctors or whatever who haven't got PPE and can't wear these masks. I mean, I've totally wore mine um, for seven days, seven nights um, until I've gone to my bedroom, you know, and um, it's kept them healthy so far. And I just hope everybody stays well and safe um, and have a beautiful Saturday because we've got loads of little plans. Take care. See you soon.